So today I'm going to show you how to communicate uh, from a smart control, how to send the data um, from the smart control through RS-232 or UART protocol. Over here we have a two smart control that is connected through the RS-232 cable. Uh, you see it right here. And then one smart control have the spectrometer connected to it, which is going to send the device and act, act as a master device. And another smart control over here um, will act as a slave and receive the data from the spec, uh, smart control over here. So first of all, so this smart control is connected through HDMI. So you can see the layout and the desktop for the smart control and this smart control is connected to the VNC viewer. Uh, the first step to we're gonna connect to this smart control right here that is act as a master and make sure that uh, you go to the um, preference and Raspberry Pi configuration and make sure you always an interface and make sure your serial port is enabled in order to do the RS-232. Oh, in our case, it's already enabled. If it's not, then make sure it's enabled and reboot the system. Then uh, we're gonna run our app right here, which is our Canvas app in this case. So our app, after our app boot up, then we can load our model that we have pre-built. Um, let's, I just named this model test one, and we're gonna load our model. Once the model is loaded, you see that uh, the name of the model, wavelength and absorption, concentration, everything is there. Now we have uh, all this value running. Uh, we'll try, we'll send the concentration value to the other smart control, which is on the, this side. In this smart control, we're gonna run our uh, path on a script that will receive the data through RS-232 sent by the master uh, smart control. So I will go over here and then export the data. I'm trying to export the concentration here. So I will select that. And then I will select my RS-232 parameter. That's the parameter I'm trying to use to send my data. Uh, the setting for the RS-232 pre-build, you can change it by default, is 9,600 uh, 9, baud rate. Uh, all the default parameters there, uh, it can be document, we can send a document and that have all the details on it. Um, so now I'm sending actively my concentration value which is 0.73 over here uh, to the other smart control so this is the slave device which will receive the data from the first smart control uh, this device can be a pc that have a rs-232 enable uh, connector or windows pc you can run this script on the windows pc or linux any any device that have the rs232 enabled so in this case right now i'm using the smart control that is running the which is basically a linux computer in there uh, that is running the script to receive the data so the script i just name is test rc receiving and here you see it i received the data right here so 0 0.83 and 0 0.830 if you see it i received the data and over here is keep changing because it's running in real time so this script is just a demo script you can modify the script to feed it continuously through a while loop or the for loop if you will uh, the data from the master is continuously save uh, continuously running and it's continuously sending the data again uh, you have been provided with the source code and you can change the speed of the data if you uh, like to send the data in a different uh, loop and you can synchronize your master and slave time cycle so you don't um, you don't get the corrupted data there you go again i got it 7.74 this is the floating point data, so I'm receiving the 4-bit 
data again if I run this script again right here you get 0.84 so you're continuously getting the data if you 0 0.90 0 0.90 see so that proves and demonstrate that the RS-232 works um, with the smart controls.